Suddenly, it was realized that two of her toes had grown together. Then she tried with all her might not to break them. Alarmed, she rushed back to her room to take a closer look. The toes that had grown together remained unchanged. Soon as Annie woke up, she rushed to check how her toes had changed. But to her surprise, she found that it was still the same as the day before. Frightened, Annie rushed to the hospital. After a series of tests by the doctor, still could not find the reason. The naturally sensitive Annie left the hospital at a speed of 100 mph per second and began to run furiously towards home. But on the way, Annie accidentally fell to the ground. Physically and mentally exhausted, while she was watching TV at home, she suddenly realized she heard the whales talking in the fish tank. She darted closer to the tank and with a word grabbed a small fish and put it in her mouth. In a moment of realization, Annie felt a wave of nausea and ran to the bathroom to vomit up her bile. Just then, her mom came home from work and knocked on Annie's door to ask her where the fish were. Annie, who was a bit grumpy at the time, got upset and yelled at her mother. She was so angry that her mother slapped her in the face, emotionally out of control. The next night, Annie bought scissors and some band-aids at the supermarket and decided to cut her toes when she got home. Who knows that Annie cut hard, the blood offering gushed out like a waterfall. Scared Annie rushed to put the band-aid confetti. That very night, Annie realized that she had developed fish gills on her back. This sudden turn of events directly scared the girl out of the third unwatchy in your phone. Then she lowered her head to check her legs, only to see that the beautiful long legs also begin to slowly rot. This Annie just opened the door to her home and walked straight to the fish tank. At the drop of a hat, she grabbed a small goldfish and swallowed it in one gulp. At this point, she got great satisfaction in her heart. By the time Annie reacted, she hurriedly flopped down on the toilet and spit out all the overnight meal. Such a situation instantly made Annie terrified. But what was even more bizarre was that Annie actually found that she had fish gills growing out of her back. And she looked down at her legs, only to see that the two long legs were also slowly starting to rot. In the next second, Annie fainted directly from the sight before her. When it came to the next day's lab class, the teacher was talking about dissecting a live fish in a colorful manner. All the other students were very curious about it, but Annie was distracted and in a trance. The class ended without a hitch. After the class was over, the students left the lab in droves. But Annie, who remained at the end of the class, grabbed the live fish on the test bench and ate it without saying a word. But this disgusting scene just happened to be returned to the female students bumped into. Because of being broken heartbreak, and was immediately infuriated. Without saying a word, she strangled the female classmate's neck to threaten. When Annie cleaned up everything and returned home, she heard the tiny voice again. At this point Annie turned around and saw that it was the little fish in the fish tank whispering. And, annoyed, grabs the tiny fish and swallows it. At this moment, Annie was satisfied with her taste buds. In order not to let her mother see the end, Annie drank a whole bottle of Lafite 82, and then her head whirled to sleep. When Annie woke up the next day, she was horrified to find her legs covered in fish scales. Frightened, she rushed to take a nail clipper to pull out bit by bit, for fear of too much blood out of the gauze wrapped up, and this scene happened to be seen by her best friend. Annie lifted up her shirt and, oh my god, realized that she had developed fish gills. When she wiped her hands, the gills were still wriggling. What was even more frightening was the fish scales had also grown on Annie's legs. She was so frightened that she hurriedly cut off the scales with a nail clipper. The successive scares made Annie completely collapse, and helplessly, she desperately slapped her legs and cried out in pain. In the end, Annie couldn't face her mutated self and chose to kill herself with a knife. But just when Annie woke up again, what awaited her was an even bigger surprise. Her legs had been replaced by huge fishtails. Losing her legs, Annie could not stand at all and could only crawl into the bathtub with all her strength, letting the water from the now so rain down on her. Submerged in the water, she then felt an incomparable sense of euphoria. Soon the bathtub water flowed all over the room, and was also swimming in a room full of water, and at that moment she realized that she belonged in the sea. She called her best friend to ask for her help. Soon after she received the call, her best friend came over. When the girlfriend stood in the doorway and saw this scene, instantly scared out of your phone the eighth emoticon, but the bestie quickly calmed down and then struggled to drag Annie into a van, and the two of them were soon traveling towards the ocean. When they reached the beach, Annie dialed her mother's last phone number to say goodbye and apologize to her for the mistake she made earlier. At the end of the story, Annie hugs her best friend and crawls slowly in the direction of the sea. The vast ocean also became her final destination.